here. I think I was supposed to get a thing. I just realized that now, but eh, well, it's kind of too late. I will say this new system they have for holding this thing is not amazingly comfortable, but whatever. It is the way it is. Not much I can do about it. Probably should have put out the widest option. Actually, I could do that. I could do that right now. Yeah. Then we got the ultra wide. Yeah, that works. This is really a first kind of test of the GoPro. So. That's what this is today. Nice thing. Doesn't seem to be too many people on the course today. So that's good. I'm not sure if this GoPro is actually gonna stay plugged, stay uh, charged for the whole time because my plug at home totally failed and I didn't get to charge it all the way before I came here. It's only like 50 something percent. So, not exactly spectacular, but you know, it is the way it is. Especially once I get to the parts where there can be people, but you know, that's okay. It's the way it is. I think they actually, I'm not sure if I'd say it's simpler the way they did it, but I'd say they probably made it better. Maybe simpler. I'm not fully sure if it's called simpler, but. So we'll, we'll say this gets rickier every time. This vertical ladder, always the sketchiest ladder. Vertical ones are always the sketchiest ones. So, you know. Yeah, no. Her tail though. It's funny, she hasn't, no one's actually come to come around. Just because it's not pass, but you know, and yeah, that's all good. Oh, I remember going on these for the first time years ago, and it was like so sketchy. No, there's there's one that's even more sketchy actually. There's ones that are even more sketchy. I won't be doing the extreme course today, so just a note. But uh, yeah, we'll see how fast we can make it through. Yeah, I know you're supposed to. 
keep two hands on that. But I'm videoing, and also like they do it all the time. I used to be able to do it. I honestly don't see why you can't do it, but uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry to the people watching this video. I'm like, normally I do do that. I was just a bit surprised last time when they, because uh, I used to do that all the time and there was no problem with it. I know they do it all the time, or at least used to, but, and you know, whatever. This is the way it is. I mean, I've done this course literally hundreds of times now, so. Yeah. So far, the course is pretty free, so that's nice. I think there are people nearer to the top, but you know, that's the way it is. This one's a little sketchy, but you know, it's fun. <laughs> As you hear a, a car go. I remember when they used to have it split paths here. You could actually go straight to that one, but now because of the new one uh, all the way through system, or all the way through system, like you're always connected to the line. Because I remember like back in the day, they used to, like for the adults, and back in the day I mean like 2015, for the adults, um, they would have like the, nor the, the normal clips, and technically you completely, completely. <laughs> detach yourself um, but for the kids so at that time me um, they would have pretty much where one clip would have to be attached at all times and then they, there was one of these extra and there was a lot of problems with that I remember there were so many people having trouble with that especially um, once the next year they changed it so everyone was wearing that harness which was I mean, it made sense because it was safer, but at the same time, it was like, it was really confusing. I remember having to help a bunch of people out trying to figure out how to use it. Um, so they went with that for like a year, maybe, maybe it was two years actually, I'm not fully sure. Um, I just scraped my leg. Um, they, they did that for maybe like a year, maybe two years, I think. And then they switched over to this single cord, just this, which is honestly so much better um, it's so much less confusing and it's so much simpler to learn and figure out especially for new people which here they generally have new people so you know people visiting it's an attraction so it makes sense but yeah again ladders always the sketchiest but yeah I honestly I know people have had, had trouble on those ladders but yeah so with this one just a little bit you can kind of like switch sides I don't really just go one side because not <laughs> Turns into like a sideways like bounce beam in some ways. Yeah. And this one's kind of fun. Pretty much. Yeah, this is gonna be a bit sketchy. I really didn't push myself long enough that oh they have a new element. They added a new element. So show one here they have a new element so that's neat didn't know that I'm not gonna I'm try to speed this up at 37% so yeah this is a new element they added a new element to this course which is a little sketchy yeah this one's definitely sketchy especially oh it moves oh it moves 
Oh, this is really, really nice. Oh, okay, this one's actually kind of sketchy. This one's actually the most sketchy one so far. Yeah, this is new. This is like this year I added this. Because right here, they used to have it, so it would split in two. And one of the paths was going and into a zip lining into a net. And then you go through. And the other one was just two balance beams. But this one's kind of sketchy because you're going down a net. So it was already sketchy before as a single balance beam. Also, what the hell? <laughs> Why is this so tight right here? I don't know. I think because it wasn't intended that way, but yeah, anyway. Um, yeah, that's interesting. Definitely interesting there. That's cool. I always like seeing changes to the course. That, um, that's definitely, yeah, that's new for this year. Yeah. I don't know if they still have the net up from before. Also, this one has gotten looser and looser over the years. So, like, especially this middle one, like, it goes, like, horizontal. <laughs> also, yeah, I see now the net is taken down. Last year, that was still up, and it was actually up for a while, but it is now taken down. So I guess they did that around the same time that they did everything else. Now, we are getting to a point where I'm gonna have to cut this video together, probably. Also, I remember the best way to do this part was to crawl up definitely not the best way to do it i would not recommend anyone do it that way step up it's so much easier and um inherently less sketchy but you know yeah it's definitely definitely a bit of a sketchy element not as sketchy as that other one but definitely a bit yeah i'm gonna have to pause the video for a little bit once we get up to here and put some of the stuff together, which I think is fine. But, you know, thought I'd do some commentary for this video. Just, you know, I think it was fun. Give a little bit of background because I've been going here for multiple, multiple years, so you know. Oh yeah, we're heading up to the sketchy, kind of the famous sketchy part. And for some reason there were two people on it at once. You're not supposed to do that, but. Yeah, you're not supposed to do that. <laughs> oh. So, I'm gonna cut it here. Okay, we're back. There was a bit of a standstill there. Uh, one of them. They were kids in front of me. One of them was having trouble getting the hook um, or the whatever it's called over the metal plate, which is definitely one downside to this, um, this system. However, that's only if you're short um, because some of the parts of this course, um, if you're short, it's not great because like if you're really short, which is, to be honest, I don't know why he was able to come on the course, but, you know, that's okay. I guess normally there's like a height perception, but even when I was like nine or whatever, and I know they're younger than I am, I was pretty short. I only like got a growth spurt like last minute, but, you know, yeah. I have no idea for seeing me right now, but yeah, it's kind of a... This is right here. Even for me, this actually does get kind of taller. I mean, you can see how tall it is up here. So, you know, it's not ideal, but, you know, yeah. This one's so much fun. It is really fun. They had a longer version of this over at the nine. So that was pretty fun. <laughs> I remember that from years back. I remember uh, actually a few years back in Kelowna. I, I probably have that video footage somewhere. I took video footage of it. Um, the extreme course there. I did go on the extreme course there. It's quite tough. It's 
quite something. <laughs> um, I definitely got stuck. I was younger at the time, so it was pretty challenging, but yeah. This zip line, the one I just went on there, is actually susceptible if you're too light. I don't think you're actually able to make it across. So you have to pull yourself. It's not that big of an issue, but something I thought I'd mention. But yeah, we are on the final zip line of the red section of the classic course, or adventure course as it's called. Coming into the finish. This is not tied at all. <laughs> I just now realized that it's got completely untied. I'm just going to lay it down like that. So yeah, that is the adventure course or the classic course as it was originally called. Actually, no, I think it's actually still a classic course as it says. Um, yeah, the classic course from Wild Play complete.